guys welcome back to my channel i've been sick for the last couple of days so my voice is going in and out so anyways today i'm gonna braid my hair i had my wash day already so i am going to braid my hair in single braids yet again this time it's still gonna be jumbo but it's not gonna be as long i don't want it as long as it was so i'm going to braid it in eight or nine again and a little shorter so hopefully it looks good this is my first time doing it this short so we'll see what happens so what i normally do is i try to section my hair off and part it now i'm not the greatest parter as you can see so do what works for you but um i'm definitely not a straight parter um, I'm going to section them off into about eight or nine big sections. I'm going to just put my scrunchie in and make it work. Now, the hair that I'm using is um, Expressions, like my last hair video, the same brand. I treated it with um, vinegar for a bit, and then I washed it with hot water, and then I um, used some conditioner on it to get out the vinegar smell. So that's the hair I'll be using today. Now... I have struggles with braiding my hair because I was going to do two braids back, but just the thought of me doing it with extensions kind of freaked me out. So I stopped because it takes me a long time. Something that's supposed to be five or 10 minutes will take me an hour or two just to get it done properly. So I'm going to go back into the big braids and hope to, this time I'm going to be using gel because um, I'm trying to look like... I'm gorgeous. No, it's okay. I'm going to be using gel this time this, for this week. So, I am suffering from some dry scalp. I don't know if it's dandruff. I really don't. Like, I literally washed my hair yesterday. And my scalp is dry. So, I'm going to have to find a remedy for that now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can't be walking around with dry scalp. And flakes all over the place. But, yeah. So this is my first section, just to show you how I'm doing this. This is another section. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do this section over. I'm just doing it to start because I never get this thing right. I never do. And some of you may be wondering why I'm doing the same style again, because it's cute, okay? But I want it again, want it better, but I don't want it as long. So it's slightly different, yet the same. I am a creature of habit. I like simplicity. I'm very simple. Ask my friend about me. <laughs> so I'm not into bold and beautiful. I'm into subtle and beautiful and simple and beautiful, you know. As you watch, you could see me transforming because I've seen myself transform because I'm going to tell you right now, my hair used to be tied up all the time. If it's not summer and I'm not wearing my hair out, winter time, tie it up. It's winter time and I'm doing my hair. So that's a plus. I sectioned my hair off today. I got nine. So I'm going to turn around just to show you. My parts aren't all the way straight, but who cares? Every spoil is a fashion. Anyways, I'm going to turn around just so you can see. That's how I separated my hair. It took me a while, maybe like 20 minutes to actually separate it because I went over some things, did some things. Hey, face, we are about to get beautified. <laughs> Imagine me walking out like this. You know what my cousin said? My cousin said, when I did my hair the last time, my cousin said I look like Lope Dog from Don't Be a Menace to South Central. Like, hello? How rude is he? Jeez. I am... <clears throat> Going to be using a gel, like I said, it's from Main Choice. This one is Bold Buttery Gel from the Do It From The Fro line. I like this gel in particular because the hold is strong for me. My hair is um, not kinky, but it's super um, silky and this holds it well for me. Now I'm also gonna be using, ooh, it's dirty, um, Hicks Edge Control. Their edge control is really good. I don't find that I get the white film around. So I'm going to be using a little bit of both just to control my hair. I'm at a crossroads because um, remember my last braid? This was the full thing that I used, right? Which means that it's going to be super long. I don't want it long. So I was thinking 
of cutting it in the middle here and braiding my hair with this. I think that should work. I, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. So what you need to do is separate your hair. My hair was already separated prior to me coming on camera. So you just separate your hair into the amount of portions that you need. For me, I need nine. If you didn't know, um, you're supposed to like tug on the ends so that you don't get a blunt end when you're finished braiding. Um, I'm just going to do that for all of my hair and then we can get started. Um, this isn't a tutorial. This is just me learning with you how to do my hair. <laughs> This is my winter protective style stuff. So um, every time you see me do something different or something similar, it's because I either like it or I'm trying to learn how to do it. So you'll see multiple hair videos of the same style because I'm trying to get better. So we're going to start. Um, I'm just going to take just a little, a little bit of gel. I'm not going to use a lot because like I said before, I really don't like a lot of gel in my hair. So, I'm just going to use um, a small amount just so that my hair can hold for the week because, as you know, I wash my hair weekly. So, this is supposed to last me for a week, okay? <laughs> Let's start with the back and hopefully you can see, but if not, you're going to just have to wait until I get to the top. I don't know if I'm the only one that has this issue. But I have a lot of um, short hairs at the back, so we're going to make it work. <laughs> like absolutely 100% make it work. <clears throat> so I'm just going to twist it in just a little, just a tad. And then we're going to start braiding. So, um, yeah, I'm going to turn around so you can see how I do it. Easy. So I grab the hair and I start, I braid as if they're all my hair because I don't know how to actually start differently. This is just my way of doing it. I find it easier for me. The braid doesn't look messy to me. So, and it's tight enough. I don't like super tight and I don't like super loose. So I think that works. So yeah, that's what the braid looks like. This is what my hair looks like. And I I like it. <laughs> Always my issue, like right here, like you see, I can never get a straight lace braid. Like I can never get that. That's always my frustration with this thing. I can never get it straight. I always have to stop, restart, redo and try and do it over just to make sure it, it looks right. But it's the back, so I'm not too worried. And I'm still learning. <laughs> okay, so this is the braid. Um, when I'm finished, I'm gonna use the scissors and clip the ends. Not the ends, but the, the fray here. And I usually use a rubber band just to, you don't have to, but I do, just to put it at the end of the braid just so that once I dip it in hot water, it doesn't unravel. The hot water stops it from unraveling, but I just put the rubber band for extra security. Just to show you again, this is what it is. So the other side, I'm gonna do the same process and um, just add a little bit of oil, not oil, a little bit of um, gel and a little bit of edge control just to keep it in place. Um, like with the other one, uh, we're gonna do this. This is an awkward position because of how my bathroom is built, but I'm gonna try and come close so that you can see, because the back is always harder for me to do. So, oh, my hand might be blocking it. So I'm just gonna, hopefully you can see this. So, but this is just what I do, like I said. It's easier for me. I use my hair as the third braid. And yes, I might get a knot here, but I'm okay with that only because it's cute. It's not, I'm not a, a professional. So yeah, see, this is what the braid looks like. 
What I also like to do, um, rub a little of the gel on the braid, gel, hair grease, whatever it is. Such something to make it stay in place so you don't really have a lot of free ends. I am on the last braid in the back and I'm going to turn around because I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> I am happy because I'm actually moving really quickly. Let's do the last one <clears throat> in the back. <laughs> I turn around, hopefully you get to see the whole thing because I'm just going based off of feel and I know my part's not straight, but I don't care at the moment. It'll be all right. There's my break. Now, we all know when I turn around this way, my braid goes haywire <laughs> because now I have to add um, braids like hair from the two sections into my hair to make the braid longer. So I don't know how I'm going to do that when my hair is pulled. So I'm ready to tackle my side. I'm just adding a little gel. For those of you who are just joining, I am braiding my hair into nine. I'm using a little gel just for hold. Main choice is my brand of choice to use <laughs> for my hair products right now. And my edge control is Hicks. I like it. It has a strong enough hold and it does not leave white residue like all the others. So I like it. So this is, this is the hold that you're seeing. I'm fine with that. I'm just showing you what works for me. This is easier for me. Um, I, I'm not a professional, guys. Okay, so, yeah. So, oh, which one am I doing? This one. Okay. So, you're just going to grab all the hair you can as tight as possible. And, ooh, this one's a struggle. Ooh, I'm having a problem. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna pull and make sure it's tight so that your hair is all in and braid like normal. Yeah, I think we got it. About this braid, like look how almost even it is. It's almost there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, yo. You. But, um, oh gosh, this is going to take me forever now because, oh, I'm going to be done. I'm hungry. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting tired. And I have a long day tomorrow. We are on this side now. We're getting there, guys. It's just slow and steady. <laughs> we are getting there. Um, yeah. This, this side, this braid feels a lot bigger than this one, but. Okay, here we go. Another side for you to see. Because I know the last video, you didn't really get to see much of it. I was just rambling about nothing. <laughs> but hopefully, this is a better um, a video showing you how I actually braid my hair in. And I hope it helps someone. This again. Grab the hair. Take this finger, loop it under, grab this right here, and braid. So loop, pull, and braid. And as you braid, you will be going down. So your hands will be gliding down, and you'll be gripping here. Okay, so now I'm going to do the top. This is a bit thicker, so I might have to double up my hair just a little bit because this braid is going to be super thick. I'm just putting in some gel. I really don't know what the back of my head looks like. <laughs> but, yeah. We're going up top. Ooh, that's a lot of hair. I don't even know if this is enough hair to make that braid solid. But we're gonna see. Okay, I think 
I think we got it. I think I put the right amount in here. Ish. <laughs> That's my issue as well. I do not know how much hair to put in. My friend says if I think it's not enough to add some more, but then sometimes I ended up adding too much. But I'm not mad at this. I'm almost finished. I'm almost within my hour. Um, so yeah, that's a plus. Okay, so I prepped the front with my gel and my edge control. Hopefully I braid it right. Because <laughs> you know, the front is what you see first. So I don't know. It's starting to come together. I love it. It's not as heavy as last week's. Not last week, two weeks ago. Because I didn't braid my hair last week. But um, it still works for me. I love it. Now we're going to just, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but we're going to try and keep it nice and straight. <laughs> try really hard. Oh, I'm not mad at this braid at all. I'm really not. Like, look how sleek my front looks. <laughs> Oh my gosh, edges. <laughs> but yeah. This is the braid, just so you see. See how nice it looks? Watch me mess it up now. Just watch. Like, I don't know how I end up always messing this stuff up. Like, seriously. I just wanted to show you the finished braid. This is what it looks like. I'm not mad at it. I look crazy. I'm not mad. Okay, so this side is prepped. My edge control is in. My gel is in. Um, <clears throat> and now we're about to braid. <laughs> I'm so excited. My my head feels so nice. It's not heavy. La the last time I braided my hair like this, with the longer braids, an eight, it was heavy. This one's shorter, less hair, and a nine. So it's better. I don't know. I like it. So, we're going to pull as tight as possible just to pick up everything. And then we are going to braid. Like that. And cut down. Like this. Ooh. I think that's it for the last one. And then we're gonna add some hair into it. I really like that braid, that looks nice. Okay, this isn't the greatest. I, you can still see the braid, but right here is where I messed up. So I'm gonna work on that. So hopefully the next time I braid my hair again, um, I will be 10 times better than what I am today. And I feel like I am better than the first braids video I did. The last braid, I'm so happy. I did this entire thing in one hour. Last week, not like I keep saying last week, the last time I did my hair, it took me at least two to three hours. Don't ask me why. But the last braid. This is the amount of gel I'm gonna be using. I normally go at the base, the back, smooth it in like this white should not be white that's the gel by the way smooth it in like that right that's the gel and i'm gonna add some edge control just so that my hair will stay in place <laughs> for a couple of days what i like to do i like to use this comb just to comb it up make it stay Comb the back up. Make sure you get the back of the hair because that's notorious for not getting enough product. Right? Done. <laughs> hey, I'm ready to tackle the last braid. Pray for me because, you know, because I'm finished, all of a sudden it's going to act up. So, oh, Lord, let's try this again. All right. So I'm gonna hold it in place. Gonna nope. Nope. 
Not working. Hopefully it works. Oh, maybe it does. Feels like it's working. Yep, it's working. Got it guys. Almost. I almost got it. I'm so excited. I almost got it. Cool. Look how nice that braid looks. Oh my gosh. Yes, but a nice braid. <laughs> Okay, so I am finished. This is the last braid. This is what it looks like. I think this is the most successful braid ever in life. <laughs> so what's going to happen is, like my hair is sticking out like this. I'm going to boil some hot water and I'm going to dip my ends in. I'm not going to show you that process. It's just going to be a little hassle right now. So I'm going to do that and then show you the final, final look. But just to turn around, just to make you see what we did throughout this entire video. Nine braids, quick and easy. I use gel, but here's the funny thing. Look at this. My hair is so disobedient. It's worse than I am. It wants to do whatever it wants. Like, no, you're supposed to lay down and stay down, okay? <laughs> okay, here you have it. I dip my ends in hot water. Um, the hair is still tight, so once it's relaxed, like after a day or two, it will fall nicely. But this is it, my eight jump, no, nine jumbo braids. I'm going to turn around, just so you see. Now, I'm happy with this one. This one looks so much better than the first video that I did. And I think my braiding skills are getting better. I'm excited. I look cute. I love the hairstyle. And I'm probably going to wear it down more often than up because it, it just looks nice. I like it. So here you have it. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, share.